Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party 5. I'm Michael. What the fuck was that? Getting getting into the like zone. Are you trying to calm yourself down yeah. from the conversation we just had with my mother? Yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Basically, because like I kind of put on a voice to do the introduction or else I'm going to mess it up. Remember when I <clears throat> tried to do Zelda and I said Mario Party? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I don't like put on, like if I don't get myself in there and like get myself into it, I'm going to mess up this intro. No, it's already fucked up. Yeah. So, this time we're doing more story mode. I can't remember what we did. Ocean last? Yeah, Looks I believe like it was it. Underwater Dream. I love Sweet Dream. Sweet Dream. Sweet Dream is my favorite. It gonna always made a, me hungry. Gonna need a donut later. <sighs> I'm gonna need a donut now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a pence, like, I'm, I feel like Tense. one of those... I No, I feel like one of those elastic balls that you make out of a bunch of elastic bands, just yeah. one over the other. And it's ready to pop. Oh my god. Or like when you put a bunch of rubber bands around a watermelon. Mm-hmm. Okay, Bowser. What? Why would you need to ruin this one? That kiwi looks delicious. Mm-hmm. There's it, never a time a kiwi it, looks that It reminds good. me of that episode from The Simpsons where Homer was like tripping out and he was in like a candy wonderland and just started eating the world. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that was impressive. Yeah, they get more elaborate as we go. They're probably practicing in their downtime. Yeah. Powerful indeed. But yeah, if I was here, I would totally start eating the pathway. Yep. Pathway would be gone. You don't see it in a lot of uh, American games to have a uh, like candy world. But mm -hmm. it's very common in Japanese games, especially Mario. I can see why. It looks delicious. Yeah, I, th I wonder if it's because, like, Japanese sweets <clears throat> are, like, really elaborate. Mm -hmm. Like, that. those are very much Japanese cakes right there. Mm -hmm. Like... Probably. Oh my god, the trees are wrappers and candy and, Fuck. uh, it's great. But at least it was only negative five, not yeah. ten. Yeah, that would have been still bad. sucks. Oh, I was like, is he about to get stabbed? <laughs> no, that's the thing about this one is like you're on a cake, right? So yeah. they, with you happen on the happening space, it usually will cut away that piece and then you go to another space. Clever. This game is very clever with its boards. I feel like it's more like, oh, there's something on my cake, let me take it out. <laughs> That could be it, too. <laughs> but whatever. And then I'll put the piece back, probably. I should have probably put on a sweater. Oh, no. Do you want me to go get your shawl? No, it's okay. When we're done here, I will just uh, grab my blankie. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, sorry I'm tense. I just got off the phone with my mother. Yeah. yeah. And holy fucking shit... Has she become my grandmother? Yep. Like, first of all, she left a voicemail. I made fucking breakfast. I was doing dishes. And I got... What the fuck? He landed on the same space That's as the other one. That's an asshole right there. That's yeah. a literal ass. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm doing dishes. I'm doing breakfast. It's fucking like 8 in the morning. Who the fuck phones at 8 in the fucking morning? Apparently my mother. For, for all she knows, you weren't even up. I, apparently. But... Um... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, but she phones and she's like, leaves a voicemail. Can you answer your phone? Will you answer it this afternoon? I'm like, oh my God, it's grandma. It's, it's fucking my grandmother right there. That's exactly what she would say to me. She's like, she was always like, Will you answer your phone? Do you not have your phone on you? Turn your phone on! Like. Well, okay, remember our last recording session? We were doing the questions <clears throat> thing. Yes. And you're like, biggest pet peeve. And I'm like, pet peeve. People phoning and leaving a voicemail that's just phone me. <laughs> like, fuck, tell me what it is. Like, you phoned me. I see on there, mom, grandma. Like, I see that you called. By that alone, I know, okay, I'm going to need to call you. But then you leave a voicemail, and I'm like, okay, now I know why she called. And then it's, phone me. And I'm like, now I don't know why you called. Like, you just, 
You, you, you just sent me on this roller coaster. Like, at least tell me I just wanted to talk to you because I'm your mother. Yeah, like something, anything. Just be like, I miss you. I just want to point out my family's German, not Italian, but I feel like we have Italian blood in us because we're so <laughs> fucking obnoxious. You never know. Oh my god, I wouldn't doubt it. Ah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. Maybe German families are worse even. I, I have no idea. Maybe it's a German thing to be like, I must not tell you why I called. Oh we can only God. speak two person. Two person? Yeah, I tried to you say face to face. started to teeter off there. Yeah, I, I want... Okay, I gotta focus. Hold on. Well, that was easy. I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> Which one's the exclamation button? <laughs> I feel like he panicked and tried. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I wanted. Anyway, uh, maybe I tried to say face to face, but then I realized it's over the phone, so that's not even <laughs> accurate. So I'm like, uh, to person. <laughs> <laughs> to person, Jesus. That was a pretty good one. Yeah. Got him down funny. to eight. I knew I'd rent land here, but I thought it would be worth it. Yeah. Well, and then he's going to hit us, so I thought that would be good. And then you'll hit him. Yeah. Well, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, you might have Italian in you. Oh, Or right. maybe it's just a German thing. Right, okay. Yeah. Either way, mom has become grandma. Yeah. Fuck. It's like I said, it, you, you, it's a mantle oh, you have yeah. to take over. Someone must be that person. Teddy, no. Michael, control yeah. your son. Come here, boy. Get off my cloud, you fuck. I hate this game. What the fuck? Finish. Whatever. That was bullshit. <clears throat> like, he, how Teddy, come he I was... will literally come over there. Why is he able to just constantly spam you, but you can't constantly spam him? <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. It works out. Whatever. Yeah. Because we'll take enough. The red one's got coins for days. Yeah, he's gonna be the top one. A uh, house full of candy. Mm -hmm. And marshmallow trees. Sky Survivor. <laughs> yes. Oh, Michael. this one. It, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm trying mm. to remember the games. Oh my god. Why don't you talk about something else? I'm the one that's playing right yeah. now. Yeah. Um. So since last recording, did Brigitte be released? I don't know. I yes. think so. I uh, have mixed feelings about her. Why? I like her as a character and everything. Um, I find her very difficult to play. And yet, impossible to beat. In a group setting, I find her difficult when I'm playing her. But the only time I've played her as is a mystery hero. So I never get another chance to try her out. Right. It's just the one. It's the one time. And yeah. usually you don't have enough, like, 
by that point, you don't have a group that's really working together for it. Yeah. <clears throat> if I got her from the start, which I never do, I might be able to do better with her. Because one-on-one, I do great. Yeah. And, like, when we were testing her out, mm -hmm. um, we learned she can just destroy Roadhog. And mm -hmm. then when we played last night, I ended up against her as Roadhog. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Thankfully, did you lose? I, I did, but she didn't kill me because I was running up the stairs on, in King's Row. And she did the boop and it just sent me flying away from her. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and then I was able to heal. But then the rest of the, their team was there and killed me. But at least she didn't. It was great. I was Beautiful. just like, thank you. Because I'm like, oh, I got to heal. But then they did the stun thing. And I'm like, no. Yeah, Brigitte has two stuns that can just destroy any animation you're in. Mm -hmm. Like, ah, uh, it's rough. Uh, you fucks. I came back here yeah. so you could hit me. At least that puts him a bit closer. So this is what I meant when I said that I always felt like the computers cheated in this game. Yeah. Is like it's constantly me. Yeah. For them when you always. get to the later levels. They somehow know. Mm, yeah, sure. Okay, guys. Now both pass us. I said both, Blue. Yeah, see, if I was here, I would just be munched on that tree right there. I have concerns for you. <laughs> Listen, I, I like sweets. No one can see it, but I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> she is. You, you, can, you can take my word for that one. Oh, that twister. He finally got a hug. But then the guy left. I don't know if I just find you extra <laughs> obnoxious today or like what. Or if your jokes are just that bad today. Uh, I can't tell which is happening, but it's one of the two. I mean, the jokes are that bad. But I think I'm extra obnoxious just because of the sweets. Well, I'm glad they made this uh, level smaller and then the computers just keep taking the same turn. I mean, why? Well, I've seen it where they go the other way, too. <clears throat> okay, cool. Ooh, coin block. That works. Yeah, that's really nice. But that's the thing about the smaller boards. You want to just go in a circle. Yeah. That way you're constantly hitting them. Mm -hmm. In a way, it's similar to the dual mechanic in that With sense. With the smaller boards? Yeah, smaller boards yeah. and like you kind of want to just take the same path. And I mean like they want to get your coins down so they're going to try and go for you. Yeah. Even though like it'd probably be better for them just to run away. It's kind of the exact opposite of our duel from Mario Party 3. You want to do this one? Sure. Do you have enough wires yeah. there? Hi, Teddy. You're an asshole. Good job. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, God. I forgot about that. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, I lived. <laughs> I will slowly float down as these deflate. <laughs> I kind of wish that was the last one for him. Mm -hmm. Just the implication of that would have been great. <laughs> oh, come on, Red. Even the verses would have been good. Well, you didn't really have a choice, babe. Yeah, I know. I feel like you're going to get on my last nerve before we even get to the second recording session. Like, the second recording. Mm -hmm. 
Is it one of those days? Might be one of those days. Where you're just lot... really fucking obnoxious. <laughs> uh, let's see what this does. Cool. Love the shuffle, it's great. Now oh, they both had dual. Oh, wow. So you said you really like this uh, level. What about it did you like? That it's sweet. <laughs> That's a good reason. It looks really nice. It reminds me of the Peach's birthday cake, oh, but yeah. I didn't know that back in the day. Right, yeah. This was just a really cool board for me because I love sweet things. I completely forgot about Peach's mm -hmm. birthday cake. Wow. Okay, did you want me to tell you when he jumps? Yeah, sure. Okay. Nice. Actually, I can just watch him because it's the same timer. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess it is. It's similar to a later mini game where you're like falling on like a board and you're a magnet. Mm -hmm. And you have to like. You mean the one in advance? Or no, no, it's not in advance. It's in DS. Oh, yeah, in DS. It's in DS. Good mini games in that one. Yep. Oh, eyeballs. <clears throat> If we had a way to record that, we probably would. I mean, emulation. Yeah. But I don't think it would work because you need the drawing part. Yeah, it'd be very difficult with a mouse. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Here to do my part. I feel like Mario Party 5 was made for you. Because it's a lot of button mashing. Yeah, you'd think I'd have uh, liked it more. I think the story just isn't as compelling. I mean, it it has a story behind it, but it's like I'm not invested. Right. And I don't think you really have to play it more than once. No. Pretty, Unless... pretty sure you don't really win anything for each character. No, it, that, that makes sense. It, <clears throat> it's more like a one and done kind of story. Yeah, I think so. Although it... I guess even, like, 4 and 3 kind of put an actual story behind their story modes. But, like, with 4, at least you had... Like, 4, 4, and 3, you had to do every character to get something for that character. Yeah, you needed to I don't get think all the... for 5 you have to. Because you get the presents. And in 3, you have, like, the mount mountain with everyone's face on it. Yeah. Which I didn't even know about until we recorded that. I never got to see what the capsule was. <laughs> A lot happened that turn. Oh, oh fuck. right. Okay. Start. Nice. They got a lot of, uh, uh, use out of that model of the Bowser bomb head. Yes, they did. Like it was in three, four, and five. Yeah. They're like, it's just really good. I mean, it works out. It's a Bowser thing. Yeah. So. Woo. I like that we said red would be the problem one, but he's down to eight now. Yeah. And it's blue that's still holding on. Yeah. yeah. 
with 22 coins. It's just scary how the knife just pops out. Yeah, it's just like, here's the knife. But it's not knife. really a knife. It looks like it's made out of wood or anything like cracker. Yeah, or a cookie. It might be yeah, a cookie no, knife. Yeah, no, like that's what I'm saying. A cracker cookie. Yeah. They just make it really terrifying to appear. That's a lot of licking. Yeah, Teddy's all licky today. <laughs> He's just all on alert. He's probably cold too, because I have the window open. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think after this recording, we can close that window. Yeah, that'd be good. I just opened it because I want the fresh air so we can start clearing out the house. Yeah, so it's not as stuffy since it's now springish. Yeah. Hello, Blue. So what else is new and exciting? Like, tell a story. I don't uh, fucking care. Well, by now, our other LPs have started. Mm-hmm. So I got to uh, sit in on you and Mel LP in your dating sim. How was that? That was interesting. I like the story you guys create around your character, even though he actually... Steve! Steve! Even though he is his own character, he has his own story. You guys have kind of turned him into something else. Yeah. I mean, granted, he is an asshole from what I remember. But I mean, like, you guys like took it above and beyond. Nice win. He's not even on the screen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I enjoyed listening to that. And it's interesting because like for so long it was Mel and I recording Zelda. Yeah, it's really weird. So I get a little nervous. Yeah. And I was nervous too. And I'm just like, I've got to be quiet. And then I was super loud with the switch. Mm -hmm. But I mean, now that I know that I can be better about it. But it was fun. It's nice listening to you too. Because, like, I, I do feel like there's a really good dynamic between you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Can you really? imagine they just pick each other? The one time. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see some shenanigans. <laughs> Alright. Blue is at least coming back. If you look in the capsule machine, you can actually see the Bowser capsule. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to have to watch for that next time. I wonder, I wonder, like, what happens if he runs out of capsules? Not, like, in-game-wise, but in, like, the actual Mario Party world. Mm. So I wonder if the colors you can see in it are, like, actual telling of what you're going to get from him. I mean, I don't think it's telling... Like, I don't think you can really tell what one you're going to get, but you can see, like, which kinds are, like, more popular yeah. in that one, maybe? Like, green or yellow. Are we getting close to the end here? Yeah, it's the last five turns. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe we'll no, finish, yeah. finish this, so... If they're worth double, that's double for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, doesn't that mean if you land on them, that's 30 coins? I think so. Of course. How pathetic. Okay, Klepto, where are you taking us? 
Sounds good. Ugh. I just, I'm not intrigued or care about this story mode, and I think that's the problem, is I just don't give a fuck. Yeah. I mean, that makes it hard. And I think that probably comes from them not really giving you anything as a reward mm -hmm. that we've seen. And I don't remember anything coming from it. Like, I'm trying to remember if I win anything, and I don't think I really do. I don't think we do. I yeah. think the only thing you do is, of course, you unlock a board like you have in every right. story mode so far. So, But other than that, there's no real prize. You wanna? Sure. Excuse me, Teddy. Okay. Let's see. Come on, drop it. Teddy, sit down. No. Finish. You totally lucked out. Yep. Totally did. Oh. That one's hard to control. It is. That's why I can't do it. So. That's why you do it. Yeah. That's why I'm here. To help with those hard ones. And freak out inside as I do them. Because <laughs> I'm just like, what if I lose? Well, at least I have lots of coins, so. Yeah, we have lots of coins left. <sighs> Did we ever look to see if there was settings I could change? I think we did. I guess we could skip minigame explanation and skip the CPU's turns. I can't believe like this is like what the fourth episode and we're just yeah. doing this. <laughs> Yeah, you'll get 30 coins. That's mm -hmm. a really good uh, end game thing. I think it's to make sure you don't like get to the end. Yeah. God, is it this one? <sighs> Yay! Red's gone. I had a like a little mini stroke yeah, right there. If you had gone for it. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'd gone to the further one after I missed, because I was like, oh shit. Cause he started to go in a line, so mm -hmm. I was like, panicking. Like that would be the one completely by my luck. Goodbye, Red. Okay, cool. Yeah, we could end this now. Oh. Okay. Okay. A 
this might be a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. Fuck's sakes. Yeah. It, it's so obnoxious. Well, and then the controller is like, you go t like one foot like too too far and you're Yeah, fucked. and you just go flying. Yeah. And it's just like, ah. Uh. It would be like, I would have to tap on it. And I ain't doing that. I, I just do not like that it stuns you every time. It kind of reminds me of um, Majora's Mask, because I did like 100% of that, right? Right. And you know the one with the, the bomb lady where you have to find the chest? Yeah. In her maze? Right, yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. I hate it. I, yeah, Nintendo, I, I you gotta stop, one. man. You gotta stop. It's one of my least favorite. Like, it was okay at first with the Zelda yeah. one. Yeah. And then I did the Goron one, and it took me a couple tries, and I'm like, what the fuck? And it's a time limit, and oh, uh, mm. it's rough. <laughs> and you have to do it with, like, each one. Yeah. Dude, go for the thirsts. Let's get this over with. Well, I guess we might find out what the fuck happens if you, uh... Don't beat them? Yeah. It'd be nice if it said, hey, you have more coins. Yeah, but we'll see. Oh my god. Take 22. No, it takes half, remember? Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's no way I can catch him. No, we can't take all his coins this turn. Well, at least we'll find out what the fuck's gonna happen if I just win for coin amount. Or yeah. if it's like a, hey, you didn't defeat them all, you suck. Well. I hate this game. Okay. We will uh, cut to winning. See you in the next video.